Believe it or not, when you're giving an oral presentation, your communication skills are also being evaluated. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today the focus is going to be on the delivery of oral presentations because believe it or not, when you're giving an oral presentation, your communication skills are also being evaluated. The first mistake I will talk about is never looking up from your paper. I actually made this mistake when I was a med student myself. I had no idea what I was doing. In fact, what I did was for my oral presentation, I typed up everything I was going to say. I printed it out and I literally read from my paper like I was reading out loud from a book. Just thinking about it now makes me cringe. But being on the other side as an attending, I do see medical students do this. You just need to look up from your paper frequently enough to show that you are confident, you know what you're talking about, and that you know how to give a presentation in a professional manner. The second mistake is long pauses with awkward glances. After like the HPI, for example, a student will look up from his or her paper and just kind of wait nervously for some nonverbal feedback or some interruption. From the attending perspective, these long pauses with awkward glances come off as, again, a lack of confidence. And even worse, it takes up time. Your presentation needs to be crisp and clean. Go from one section to the next without pausing. Boom, boom, boom. This is my HPI. Boom, past medical history is this. Past surgical history is this. Medications are this. Allergies are this. Blah, 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 continuing on. Do not have a long pause in between sections. Mistake number three saying we were thinking. So oftentimes when I'm listening to a presentation, the student will say something like, for the UTI, we want to give stuff triaxone, but we want to see what you think first. Or there will be choices. So we were thinking for the heart failure that we would give either LASIK 60 milligrams IV or 80 milligrams IV, but we wanted you to decide. What's the worst that can happen if you give the wrong plan and your attending corrects you? Are you gonna die right there on the spot? Are you gonna have a lower grade because of your plan? Believe it or not, actually no, because your attending knows that you ran this plan, hopefully, by your resident and intern. So it's the team's plan, it's not just your plan. Presenting it confidently is so much more impressive than actually having the right plan. The fourth mistake, not going in order or skipping sections. guys. We learned this order for a reason. It's a standardized format that every doctor knows and uses. So please don't deviate from it because if you do deviate from it, it makes you look disorganized. HPI, past medical history, past medical history, med, allergies, family history, social history, they all matter. The fifth mistake is editorializing. The definition of editorializing is to make comments or express opinions rather than just reporting the news. This is a classic mistake that you'll hear people talking about and medical students and residents really make it all the time. Everything from the HPI to imaging, so everything before the assessment plan, you're just reporting. You're painting the clinical picture for the team, but you're not commenting on it. The team does not have time for your commentary. So there you go, five common mistakes in the delivery of oral presentations. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because I will continue to post weekly videos on how to succeed in medical school and beyond. Thanks for watching and see you next time.